Party animals, like and subscribe if you want two touchdowns from your value receiver this week. Pat Mahomes to Tyreek Hill. By the way, I was on the stack. Fantastic stack. Uh, McCaffrey, Barkley, fantastic plays. Chris Conley was a good play. Higby was a good play. Now, Greg Ward and Boston Scott? First of all, what have you done for me lately on Boston Scott? And if it wasn't for seven catches for 30 yards, the guy has nothing. But anyway, uh, Greg Ward, it felt like the live final was a Philadelphia home game. I'm not joking. I felt like everyone there had... I know it was only 13%, but I feel like the place erupted for the Greg Ward touchdown to win the game. <laughs> the guy on before the last drive had like four or five fantasy points. Like he had nothing. Nothing. Um, and obviously that at the end was massive because the other guys behind him... Well, Peter Gibbons did, but Mr. Goodseats had no Greg Ward. So you don't have that touchdown. It's like, my goodness. Um, otherwise, this was a fantastic lineup. Again, defense wins championships. But anyway, uh, two, Mr. Goodseeds. This was a good one. Jameis Winston, probably the highest projected quarterback, according to some models I saw. Um, some projection system had Winston as the highest guy. If you were going to pair him with anyone, it was Godwin. If you were going to run it back with anyone, I thought Amendola was the clear play. So that was a pretty standard stack, I think, for, for most. Barkley was a top tier play. Ty Johnson. So OG says, what's with the Ty Johnson Galaxy Brain plays by a few of the top guys? Guessing the Lions backfield seems like a terrible idea. Well, here's the thing. If you didn't get vultured by that dweeb twice, this guy all of a sudden has what 20 fantasy points? Like that's a huge difference, you know? If Danny Amendola doesn't get stopped at the one-yard line. And then the Hills, Nurgen, gets the touchdowns. Like, he just got double vultured. You know? He just got double vultured. Amendola down at the one. Ty Johnson didn't get it. It was the other guy. So, holy bananas. That was terrible. Chris Conley. Is Boston Scott any better? Uh I mean, Boston Scott isn't the number one back there. Oh, whatever. Anyway, uh, Chris Conley, massive second half. That was huge for him. Huge for both, really. Chris Godwin's injury, if he didn't get injury and... If he didn't get injury. If he didn't get injured and he somewhat played anything or got anything in the fourth quarter instead of another Perriman touchdown, maybe that's enough to win. I don't know. Danny Amendola, again, down at the one. Tyler Higby was fantastic. And then McCaffrey doing McCaffrey things. He needed seven more to match the Patriots. He lost by seven. Peter Gibbons had the worst sweat, I think, out of all three of them. Because he had everyone in that 4 p.m. game. And he was down like 15 or something at one point. And it was almost a lock that he was winning this whole thing. He had Goff going with Drake, Woods, Higby, Elliott. How do you lose? <laughs> like, you had to run really bad to lose. By the way, the two-minute drill at the end, they passed the whole way only to get at the one-yard line and run it in with Gurley. Oh, my gosh. I would have been so tilted, man. I would have been so mad, dude. I would have been furious. I would have been furious. Second to last drive, whatever, it counted the same thing. Second to last drive, that was that was awful. The last drive ended in a touchdown, but it got him within half a point. That was awful, man. That was terrible. Run worse, man. The last TD didn't go to Woods, correct? It went to, like, what, Cup or something? I don't remember. Man. And then, and then on top of that, they went for two. They went for two. And right at, I believe it was like Reynolds or something who had Gurley drop the two-point conversion. Well, the two-point conversion wouldn't have mattered for um wouldn't have mattered. So so by the way, third place was also sweating with another guy who had Gurley behind him. And at the time, I think it was Gurley and Goff going at it. 
Um, if he would have caught it, the other guy would have not have passed uh, Peter Gibbons anyway at the time. Proved to not matter anyway, so it didn't matter. Um, the two-point conversion, the last one, uh, that was the big one. Because if he did get it, he gets two more points for Jared Goff, even if it didn't go to any one of his other players. And that would have passed Mr. Goodseats for second place. And it literally just, he caught it. And he got hit right after and dropped the ball. It was, oh my, the sweat was bad, man. The sweat was so bad. It was what a million to seven hundred fifty thousand. Oh my goodness, that was awful.